Welcome friends, I'm going to be showing you a uh, process to um, be able to manage teams by looking at a uh, weekly report form. So I'm going to pull this report form up and show you exactly the steps that are taken in order to um, keep track of people that um, are looking for answers um, and be able to see a pulse. See, having a report form is really important because it's kind of like a heartbeat of an organization. It's showing um, an overview. It shows you the pulse of what's going on. So you're able to see what's taking place, what are the questions, what are the cracks, what are what's falling through the cracks, what are the people's concerns, and it's a really awesome centralized place for you to get all the information that you need. This is something that I wish I had done years ago. I knew about them. I wanted to do it. I tried different attempts. I failed, but I just didn't understand. I was missing some key pieces and finally was able to make a huge difference. So this is one of the greatest things that I have ever uh, used in terms of um, management, management of people. So uh, this is what I would recommend doing. Um, I would say what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the project board and I'm going to, uh, on Notion, go over to a mine. I'm going to go to Enoch View and I'm going to um, I'm going to look at, um, this is kind of human resources, administrative, it's one of those two. I'm going to go to human re resources. Looking at this, there we go, three, I'm going to go here. Um, review, what was it? It says September, uh, September. When did they fill this out? It was September 10th. Goes to the top. September, no, say 9, 10, 20. Um, report form. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just documenting this journey as I go. I, I'm pretty new at this too, but I'm learning and growing. We're learning and growing together. All right, so one of the first things that I do when I get on here, I don't like scrolling down to the very bottom because we got over a hundred of these things to see the most recent. So a really fast way to work is just go over this timestamp column, hit that A, right click the A, and I'm gonna hit sort sheet from Z to A. When I click short sort sheet from Z to A, then it pops everything up. So I have the most recent ones first. So it's an easy, quick view for me to look at. Um, so from the 10th, we have 9-9. Uh, nine, nine. OK. Oh, looks like Rebecca did hers early. She did 9. And then Desires did her on the 6th. Why did she do it on this? Oh, because that was last month. She did it late. All right, so starting with Rebecca, um, it's kind of seeing what are her goals and her aspirations, what she's going to do. So what I like to do is I just like to select the name and I'm going to use my left and right arrow key on my keyboard in order for me to move. And I'm not going to highlight or see anything more of that. I'm just going to drag this down. That way I can see bigger. And this seems to work really well for me. Um, and you probably can't see it too well because this current window is too small to properly display the sheet. Yeah, they don't, they don't like it being this small. But this works good for me. All I need to do is read up here. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. Reading up there in the question. So I got Rebecca. She's on uh, row 15. So I'm going to move over. So what have you accomplished this week? Reminding team of Livecast. Hoping to attend Livecast today. Helping out with the slides a little last week. Creating an account for Leadership Bootcamp. Awesome. And getting started. Awesome. Started applying communication 3 by 3 by 3 That's awesome with team leaders. But all in all... I felt like I could have done more, especially as a leader, still learning by God's grace. All right, so she wants to grow as a leader. Um, so that's definitely something that I want to help her to do. Uh, what do you intend to work on next week? Hmm, not sure. Trying to get clarification today. Ooh, I want to focus on quote card system heavily. I can make myself available if I know when and what times we can work on it, what we need to do. Okay. So she wants clarity. So what I'm going to do is for Becca wants clarity on the uh, quote card teams and what to do for those. Um, 
some of the steps I think would be to give her access to the system for creating systems. That's going to help her tremendously. Um, and she wants to work on that um, heavily. Hmm. She knows the time she'll make it. Okay. So what do you have questions? Uh, is there anything you need help with? Do you have questions for us? Yes. I need to know when we can work on quote card system and what we wh what we'll be working on. I've never created a system before. I just need to know what to do and some guidance. So she wants to know um, wants to know when she can work on it. Wants to know when we can work on it. Awesome. And then, yes? Did you see your mom before she left? No, I didn't. Okay, she said to tell you she was going to Pastor Smith's okay. to help him out. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. um, so, um, Rebecca here, she says, yes, you need to know. Do you have any suggestions? Doesn't look like it. What are measurable key results? So, she does not know, does not know what are measurable, measurable key results. Okay. So then, this is a note for me. I want to get better at this. Um, um, this is something for me to do. Uh, provide examples of what could be measurable key results for people. All right, that is good. Um, I realize you need to do that far more. Um, maybe what I could do is actually create a toggle and give some examples of this. So for Rebecca, um, it could be number of um, recording a video. You can come and sit down and you can see my screen if you'd like to. Um, that'd be good. You could pull the chair over there. So um, what, what I'm doing is um, going to make a list of what are some of the key results for Rebecca uh, so that she would know. She does quote cards, so that could be a uh, number of quote, whoa, what just happened there? Number of, a uh, number of quote cards designed. Um, and that could be number of, oh, there it goes again. She has a hotkey. Number of systems uh, developed for the quote card team. And some measurable key results that she has done. I'm trying to think. Uh, it's basically anything that's uh, we can put a measure, some, some specific result, it's an outcome, something we're looking for. You can look for um, things. Um, so then, so what are you learning this month? She didn't do that. I don't think that question was there when she got started. Now I'm going to go to Nikki. Uh, what have you accomplished uh, this week? Newsletter and descriptions. Okay, that's good. So what I want to do here oh, is um, I'm going to say Nikki. Um, and I will put that up here so Nikki can be say um, uh, email subscriber list so the number of people on email subscribers and she could do a uh, number of uh, descriptions written for uh, YouTube videos and it could be can be about. These are the type of examples for measurable key results. So is there anything that she needs help with? Um, so she wants to write that down. I could let her know too that um, uh, question three, uh, you need help. Great place to let me know things you need or are looking for because I go through and write down the things I need to get done to support the team and it's easy for me to forget and lose things if you message me on Messenger. So speaking of which, there's one thing I got to do to help her is, uh, what, what was that? Um, wants me to read the podcast description she wrote on oh she wrote on a Google Doc okay that's good so do you have any suggestions uh, are there things at risk for getting deadlines uh, what are your measurable key results learning to be more creative with newsletter and more so she likes being creative 
think just, I don't think that question was on there when she got started. So we're going next. We're going to Tina. All right. So here's Tina. Um, she put the live cast teaching point into a Bible reading. Finished the live cast slides. Um, did the live cast? Did the live cast? Yes. Put the actual things. Um, you want to see what I'm doing? What are you doing? So I'm going over this um, list. Yeah, I'm going over the weekly report form, and from here, um, making a list of the things that need to be done and how to be able to help the people better. Um, and um, and that way it, it is. Um, you weren't here at the beginning. It started about 10 minutes ago, so um, I kind of went over this. But um, basically, just going through the list and making my list of things to follow up with. This helps me to see the um, the yes, resources, yeah. and it's kind of an overview of everything and seeing the the leaks and the cracks and know who to how to plug it in. Asking the question, who can I serve? How can I help? What clarity can I bread? provide for the team where are the bottlenecks where is the miscommunication and where are the key results right here in one place like a dashboard to be able to see all these things together so this is one of the a really helpful super helpful tool for managing a team and knowing how you could be a greater blessing to know what you should prioritize because if they got a question or concern or um, a challenge here you're able to seek to serve and help and bridge a gap and provide resources that they need in order to move forward does that make sense who are you recording it for? Um, I'm recording it for team leaders and managers. Um, and I'm documenting this process as I'm going to better understand how this works. So we're dealing with Tina Wolf. So what do you intend on working on next week? Um, to update the system for creating slides. Awesome. Uh, the Bible reading for this month. Have them done by Tuesday. Why is there a question mark for that? Um, I'm going to put down Tina on here, Tina W. Um, why did you put a question mark for by readings by Tuesday? Um, have the team working on them, not just me coming back from camp meeting. So that's what she plans on doing next week. Is there anything you need help with? Uh, uh, are there risk of being deadlines? I'm not sure if I will be able to finish the Bible readings with everyone or finish all the Bible readings with everyone. Okay, that's, that explains why she had a question there. What are measurable key results? Have all four Bible readings done? So what would be some good measurable key results for Tina? Um, uh, what would be some good um, MKRs for Tina's roles and responsibilities. Can you think of any that would be good for her to help her to clarify what her measurable key results are? Yeah, but, and that's for slides? That's for Tina. It's not slides, it's for Tina. Slides is included, but not narrowed to. I guess how many slides are completed would be one. Um, the songs that are done. Um, People that she has trained, maybe that way you know who to send other people to, maybe. Um, um, how many times her small group on split? That would be nice to know. Yeah, people who she and uh, number of people that she invited to the small groups, those would be good too. Yeah. That's good. Um, um, I think those are helpful. Thank you. Yeah. So I got Carmen over here. Um, got together with Jason to work on the team leader boot camp for the phone team. Praise the Lord. Got more clarity on our vision, the kind of impact we want to have. Fix the email situation with click funnels. Connected to SendGrid. No more paying for MailChimp. Praise the Lord. Um, did you stop a comment in here? Mailchimp was painful, huh? Uh, 
Paying for? No more paying for? Oh, paying. Oh, for. that's the painful. Well, thirty-five dollars <laughs> a month is pain, and yeah, it was painful. <laughs> it was a pain that financial pain that's I didn't funny. want to bear. Um, but I keep getting emails almost every day from uh, ClickFunnels saying that there's some problem with the SMT thing, so I've got to talk to Carmen about that. Um, and that was a good reminder. ClickFunnels email SMPT error message. Figure out what's going on with that. Um, live casting is done. Praise the Lord. Um, recorded the the live cast. Yes, recorded some team leader boot camp lessons. Certainly. Um, yeah, and that was another thing we want to put those put the four team leader uh, team leader boot camp lessons online. Live cast summary with uh, sister. That's good. Um, Help Diana and Angela record a project board video. Yeah, that was. Um, quite the experience and then start started working on a mother funnel framework that's awesome that is good uh, what do you intend to do next week team leader bootcamp gather essential and relevant pages of the account book to send to Christina so we can have a public published physical book that would be great uh, finish creating a, a mother database for worksheets and frameworks that would be super helpful learn how to sp sp spread so I can zoom on through this book on asking questions and other books. So once a speed read, that's, that's very good. The yard. So is there anything you need help with? Do you have any questions for us? Uh, the yard, the garden, my glasses. Um, okay, so um, garden, um, put that on there. Um, that's good. And then, um, do you have any suggestions to start working outside together for again for at least half an hour a day? That'd be good. Um, the half an hour a day suggestion. Um, are there any deadlines at risk of being missed? Um, okay. Uh, what are your measurable key results for this week? Finish creating a mother database for worksheets and frameworks as measured by having one item in there that we're actually going to use okay I appreciate that effort who's going to do what by when um, uh, mother database one item we will actually use okay go through the gym quick speed get the guy speed reading course measure by finishing the course okay that's cool so he did that oh he's doing speed reading leadership development cool um, say what well, um, so we use learning uh, what part of your development are you currently learning about? Hmm. That's good. Um, I'm looking for as many people as I can who are saying that they're focusing on the team leader boot camp. These are things that I definitely want people to focus on. So you can, you can um, do control work. Uh, no, I'm going through one by one. Okay. I, don't, I don't just want keywords. I'm looking. Um, I'm just being intentional as I'm doing this because I'm, I'm, I'm combing through. And uh, I got 11 more to go. So the live cast presentation, so what she help with. Um, what do you plan on doing next? Uh, overviewing onboarding system. Okay. So now with, with Leah, I want to ask her what she means by that. What does she mean? What do you what do you mean by saying overviewing onboarding systems? Is there anything you need help with questions with? No. Do you have oh you know what a measurable key result could be? Um, MKR could be a uh, number of people onboarded. MKR could be a uh, number of of uh, Slides designed. Uh, MCAR, MKR could be a uh, number of uh, people attending a squad. MKR could be. Um, what else does she do? Does she do the slides or quote cards? No, she doesn't do quote cards. She does do slides. Well, um, she could report if the the slides are done. There was enough. Uh, 
communication leadership. So she's learning about communication. What about communication are you specifically learning about now? Okay, that's good. She wants to grow those. It's nice to have communicators. Yeah. Um, and oh, oh, with that being said, we might be able. We could probably involve her. Involve her in the curriculum uh, creation that's team right, right? since she loves communication. Since she's teaching. And, uh, she's she's like 17, 16 years old. Um, she does some videos on Instagram, but no, she's not a teacher like near me or she's taller than someone. Um, so Angela, so we have here, it says focus on, okay, what did you do last week? Focus on the worksheet, uploaded five to Google Drive for current live cast, ready to upload satanic shyness worksheets. Wow. Uh, I gotta look at those. Um, or have, or have Tina look at them. Um, was it Angela? Um, okay, that's good. Um, wow, that's interesting. She's focusing on, focusing on worksheets. Um, that's super helpful. Whoa. With five Google Drive ready to upload Satanic Shyness worksheets. Uh, um, so I need to check out her worksheets on Overcame Satanic Shyness and Livecast. That's cool. Nina? Yes? Is there something I'm forgetting to do for you? Right now? Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Did you fill this out? No. That That's one thing that would be helpful. So what do you intend to work on next week? Uh, new Livecast worksheets and finish uploading Shyness worksheets walkthrough of Notion. So she wants... Oh, she did a walkthrough with Diana. Uh, new live cast worksheets and finish uploading shyness worksheets. Okay. So one thing we could have her do is uh, go through the new framework. Oh, wait. Framework creation steps. Put that on her onboarding um, onboarding page. Uh, go through and read the examples of the worksheets on the content uh, format database. Those would be good. Super helpful activities for her to do. Is there anything you need help with? Do you have any questions for us? Still not sure which folder the, the OSS worksheet goes in. I guess I can put them in the main worksheet folder. Probably add the livecast worksheets there as well, just in case. Oh, okay, that's good to know. So this is something for Carmen to be able to help her with. Carmen, um, and we got to um, update the system for communicating where these worksheets go when they are complete. That's that's an indication. So that's not his fault. That's not anyone's fault. But but the system. That's a system problem. Okay. She doesn't know where to put them. Do you have any suggestions? Battleboard calendar did not have the live cast on it this week. So I got a little confused on the time. I was able to find the correct time on Facebook, but I had requested off the incorrect time slot by the time I noticed. Oh no. What happened? She didn't have the, the live cast calendar. Um, I mean, it wasn't on the battleboard. Mm-hmm. So it didn't have the right time. Poor thing. Yeah, so I'm going to send this to Kathy. Um, say, Angela sent this on the report form. Send that to Kathy. Okay. Uh, do you have any risk of being missed? Uh, what are your measurable key result? She is 50% more comfortable with the worksheet process. That's good. I like that. 50%. So she wants more clarity as far as what are measurable key results. Um, uh, yes, what would be some good, what would be good MKRs for Angela creating the, or Angela? These are things that I gotta decide. That's good. Uh, 50% more computer. What are you learning this week? Continue the team leader bootcamp and daily meeting. Yeah, praise the Lord. She's going through the team leader boot camp. Um, ask her 
Jesus freaking egg. Uh, what are uh, you learning on the Team Leader Bootcamp? You be able to help with, um, what was it? You should be able to help with uh, uh, creating the curriculum. Okay, that's good. Um, so, you want to do Marcella? Who, me? Yeah. Use the arrows, it's already selected on Marcella. Don't touch the mouse. What do you intend to work on next? Live cast work? Yeah, look it up here. Look it up here. Yeah. Is what you're doing. What's that mean? Maybe? Nothing? Nothing? Personal development. What are you learning this week to develop your talents for Christ service? Personal development, talent development, new skills, leadership development. Let me put personal de development. So what do we do in a situation like that? Uh -huh. Maybe we should, because um, that's almost like not filling out the form, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What would you do in a situation like that? It Maybe is not filling it out. We, we might want to talk to them about um, their role in the, um, in the army of youth and how we depend on them and ask them if they need help with something. If they, you know, because there might be some kind of clog that is preventing her from doing something. If she's not filling out the form, do you think the good question would be if she needs help with help? No, or I she think obviously she needs help with something. So then the question is how can we help her? Well, we don't know because we don't know what she's going through. We need to find out. She might be stuck, you know, like waiting for somebody or stuck somewhere like she doesn't understand. Because when you don't understand something, you get paralyzed if you don't reach yeah, out to... Yeah, confused mind is a paralyzed mind. Yeah, if you don't reach out to find out the answer. Or, you know, we need to find out why. You know, maybe she's afraid to fill out the form or something. Who knows? We don't yeah. know yet. She's not actively doing anything. I'm actually surprised she filled out the form. She doesn't respond... Uh, very often to the messages. She and needs people to befriend her and talk with her and encourage her and strengthen her. She's going through a hard time. And ask her what, what she needs. Would you be interested in be fr being a friend of Mar uh, Marcella? Mm -hmm. She's someone who we need to encourage and strengthen. So we could say uh, Desire, Leah, Tina, people on that team. Side of the world. Uh, work out with uh, we're recording video just to let you know uh, Marcella so she has that and then so we got desire here you want to you want to work on desire mm -hmm. and look okay listen number one mm -hmm. do not do not start working on stuff when you're going over uh, a report form never if you do that you'll get so distracted and confused you don't know what to do until you list it all out and you prioritize stuff does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That is gonna get you so busy, overwhelmed and stressed, by the end of the day, you feel like you didn't do anything. If you wanna overcome that, then you have to take notes. Get very good at taking notes that you can act upon. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, and you might wanna pull up your project board so you can take some notes of some things you can help with. Okay, so this, and that was the part that you missed at the beginning. I pulled up the project board and I opened this up. What is it? The I, project I, board? Yeah, I just created a page on the project board. This is oh. why I titled it. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so um, what have you accomplished this week? Adding content from Notion to the funnel that's awesome hold on uh, oh funnel flex extracting some quotes and designing questions oh that's great so um, so with here what do you see as something that we could respond or help the question is like how can we add value to her how can we help her how can we assist her where's the bottleneck what are the problems 
that she is facing and how can we assist her to have a breakthrough in the work that she's doing for the Lord. These are the questions we want to ask ourselves when going through the report form. Um, what do you think we could do to help her along this way? Well, we could thank her. We could look over the quotes to see if that's the type of quotes that we're looking for. Okay. Who do you think would be a good person to thank her? If, she, if she's working with uh, uh, adding content from Notion of Funnel Flicks. Oh, maybe Conrad. Probably. Yeah. And what about the quote cards and designing Tina. quote cards? Who? Tina doesn't design any quote cards. Oh, she doesn't? Who's no. in charge of that? Um... Kim, Rebecca, and Diana, they work they work on it together. But who's in charge? Um, there's no one really in charge. Diana's more so in charge somewhat. So any of them would be good to... Yeah, Rebecca and Kim are not as available. And Diana is not as sure what's going on with the team. Yeah. But one thing's for sure, we should um, count one of them and not all three of them, because... That, that would leave open for everybody yeah. to say, oh, somebody else is going to take care of that. We counted one and then another, and then but they just they, they were dropping out, and it's kind of hard to pinpoint someone for that team. There's no one really to spearhead it, so I, I'm thinking we should probably abandon that for now and just not, not work on those or do something different. Okay. So she wants to work on quoting. Everybody wants to work on quoting. Did you see anyone else say something about quoting on any all of these? Well, um, Rebecca wants to work on quoting. She's never quoted. She's never quoted content. Uh, oh, you mean to um, draw out the quotes? Yeah, to identify oh, quotables. Oh, praise the Lord. We don't need people to do that. It's um, To get the quotes? Yeah, we have far, far more quotes than we have quote cards. We don't need that. We need designers. Oh. So, well, maybe we could talk to her about designing it instead of quoting them. Quoting is not or, a priority right now. Or maybe um, doing the same thing that uh, um, um, Theodora is doing. That's good. So we can talk to her about um, we can talk to her about helping with the curriculum team. Okay. Um, and get more involved with the funnel team. Talk to we can talk oh, yeah, to Kamran nice. about seeing what other stuff that uh, Kamran could uh, work with her on the funnel team. If she likes quoting, she probably would like um, funnel um, scripts. Funnel. Well, she likes quoting because she likes consuming the videos, and while she's watching them, she's taking notes. Oh. So she likes that. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, she watches a lot of the videos. So here's the thing you need. I can't upload the design quote, quote, design quote cards. Can I send them a messenger? My connection is not good. Also, I'm still stuck on the checklist and getting started in Notion to give my sister Leah because I don't know how to leave a review in the podcast using Android. So that's another thing that Carmen can help uh, send her the resource for leaving a review. Yeah, or, or a video. No, we have it. We have a tutorial. You can just oh, okay. send it. Tutor- oh, you did. Oh, but it good. only works for Apple, Apple Podcasts. I don't think. Oh, the link. From, from what we have, it doesn't work like from from the different podcasting platforms that we upload to. It doesn't look like any of them, aside from Apple Podcasts, have a yeah. What? Seriously, on all the internet? Well, we got all the major podcasting platforms in the world, so none of them have a review. So, yeah, but how, how do when I go to when I go to Podcast Addict, these podcasts have have reviews on them. So that's Podcast Addict. What do you mean? What is she on? She's on iPad. Is that what you said? Or iTunes or whatever? And Android. Are we on Podcast Addict? Podcast Addict isn't a, uh, isn't a podcast hosting platform. They just kind of pull things from it. Oh. 
I don't know. So as far as stuff like Spotify, I think she uses Spotify. Spotify doesn't have any uh, way to, to s submit a review? Could so I don't need to have a Apple in order to leave a review on iTunes. Um, are we able to link to our iTunes page, our review page, and just let them all like leave a review right there? I'm glad you're sharing this with me. This is good, good information, good to know. That might be even faster. We just did a direct link that they can click and leave. Because I left a review for the Systemology podcast to get the free book, but they didn't even. Um, I didn't, but I, I didn't use an Android or Apple login stuff. So measurable key result, small group. She doesn't know what a measurable key result is. Doesn't know what a MKR MKR is. Educate her on that. Um, number of videos uploaded to. Funnel flex, um, number of <coughs> quote cards created, personal development, so figure out what um, personal development is she currently focused on learning right now. Okay, that's good. So we got those for her. Six, what's your name? Oh, someone didn't put their name on there. Was that Kathy? Yeah, that was Kathy. I don't know why she didn't do that. She, How do you know it was Kathy? Because of what the work that she did. So just added her. So when, oh, I, I want to show you this was from Kathy, and I don't even know what that means. Okay, let, let me put that under you. So Deborah. So I already told her. You already told who, what? Kathy, that I didn't understand that and she didn't want to do it. Okay, so um, mom doesn't understand the photo Kathy sent her about the live cast um, photos or live cast giveaway note she wrote. Picture was sent on mom's phone. Okay, so we can talk about that. Um, so that's my responsibility. What's that your responsibility? It's my responsibility because if you're confused, if, if Kathy's confused, I it's my responsibility. Everything ro rises and falls on, on leadership. So uh, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. And regardless, if you could do something better or she could do something better, it's my responsibility to lead you and influence you both to do and be the best that you can. Okay. Does that make sense? All of this is my responsibility. There's nothing on here that doesn't fall on my, sh my shoulders. It doesn't matter even if other people are doing other things. It's my responsibility to make sure it gets done. And as a leader, we take greater responsibility than even what we have authority or what's in our job description or what is in our role to actually do. So she sent out, sending out reminders to all the team leaders and encouraged them during the live cast Tuesday. I like how she did. Oh, oh, what just happened? Got the okay Tuesday Tuesday Tuesday. Does it let me shift? No. Tuesday. What if I do that? Huh. Where's just the interview? Don't know. All right then. Uh, Tuesday sending out reminders to all students to join the live cast. Interesting. Wednesday calling students to ask if they're going to join the live cast. Okay. Wednesday Thursday following up to see if they join and. Their takeaway from live cast Thursday, sending out weekly report form. That was helpful. Uh, sending out 14 reminders to fill out report form. Wow, she's on top of things. She's the reason why this gets done. Without her, this would not happen. Let her know that. Yeah, I will let her know that. That'd be great. Um, so, I want to work with. Uh, what did I put here? Uh, come on. What can we do to give Desire more opportunity to work in the funnel team? Her help is not needed any, anywhere else in the ministry. Um, 
Why? Because we want to focus her. She can help with the funnel team. She should yeah. focus all her efforts that she possibly can. I mean, I can definitely okay. use her help with the curriculum team, but I don't want to distract her from okay. um, from funnels because she's doing a work that no one else can do, and she is a powerful worker for Kamran. Okay. Yeah. So she's sending out um, sending out reminders. The Monday leadership table invites to small group Bible readings. Looking for rental before the time is up. Okay. Uh, where do I put Kathy on here? Kathy, there she is. Help oh, tremendously with the what is it? Report form. And another thing, she was uh something about small groups, small group meetings. Send out the invite. Um, how are you inviting small group? Inviting people to attend the small group. What? copy are you using what about the um gifts i didn't even talk to her about that i haven't talked to you about it okay i don't know what's going on um but i already took a note to do that so is there anything you need help with do you have any questions psalms 50 verse uh 15 i'm trying to see what does that mean 50 15 call upon me in a day of trouble okay um, so she wants help with this. Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. Um, what do you need help about regarding this? Okay. Um, do you have any suggestions? Verse 23. 23. Who's offer praise? Glorify me in order this conversation arise. Okay. Um, suggestions, right? I don't understand your suggestion. Okay. Um, are there any risks for getting that meet? Uh, what are your measurable key results? So she wants to know, uh, wants to know measurable key results. Um, so some examples could be, um, uh, How many people uh, join the uh, program? Small group. Yep. Number of people join the program. People, how many people um, connect with us in a week? It would be nice to know how many new people. if we could figure that out. What? Then we find out how many new people have seen our stuff and then um, say hi to them or something, you know? Invite them to see something different. Say hi to who? To the new people who come to see our stuff. Anybody new? Hmm. Messenger bots. That's good. Um, what in personal development are you currently working on? Be able to help and maybe, her reach your goals faster. Maybe um, we could ask how, how that would uh, help us and what area do they want to use that in or something for what um when they're developing themselves how, how they could help aoy oh yeah okay how they could see that that will help us what what they have in mind to you know how how will it help with the to, the, to move the mission forward mm -hmm. that's good so naomi says that she's uh in she's school accomplished to be able to handle some things at her workplace it has been very difficult um trying to figure out what to do but what do you intend to work on next as i have time the checklist kind of hard with work school right now is there anything you need help with no pretty measurable key results i don't know what that means so naomi's not really working with the ministry so um this would be for Kathy. Stop 
inviting Naomi to um, fill out the report form. We could we could ask her to um to invite people to the AOI or to oh you know it's a uh, uh, social horsepower might be good for her. She might like that. Young people usually don't check their emails. So Susie, she helped with the live cast summary. She completed, okay. So number of frameworks identified, identified this week. That is a good MKR. And then um, MKR is number of questions written for the Bible readings, readings. Um, uh, MKR number of framework photos uh, created. Um, um, MKR number of team leader boot camp uh, training videos finished. Maybe yeah, that'd be good to ask people. Um, so she completed the TRS test. That's good. She's helpful. Uh, what do you intend to work on next? Moving framework photo team forward, Bible readings, creating quotables. Okay, so what do you intend to work on next? Um, to be specific about what are you doing in creating quotables, quoting content, wordsmithing, Quotables, um, designing quotables would be helpful. That's good. Um, uh, is there any? Oh, is there anything you need help with? Oh, didn't look like she said anything there. Do you have any suggestions? No. Ooh, what are your measurable key results for this week? Five quotables from Livecast, one by reading. That's good. Those are good examples. Leadership development. So, um, learning, leadership development. What specifically are you learning and developing right now? What skills specifically? All right, there we go. So, now we got Theodora. She did the February transcript. What do you intend to work on? Oh, she finished it? Wow, that's that's powerful. Next week she wants to do December. That's cool. That's going to be the hardest one. She's going at it, Mom. She is. That's so cool. Praise the Lord. She's and doing she likes so it. so good. She likes she, it. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> she's doing really good. Out of the five people we worked with with Livecast, she's doing good. She's not looking it out. Yeah. Is there anything, and, and it would be helpful if you can let her know frequently throughout the day, like how well she's doing with the Livecast, and, and it's good stuff. Um, is there anything that you need help with? Do you need, do you have, do you have, so one thing that you could write down is, uh, for the question three, for your account book every day, you can pray for people to format the, pray for formatting. Think about what are the steps that you need in order to make that book come to reality and then write down all the steps, all the people, all the things you don't understand. Pray for those people. Harvest is plenty, as labors are few. When you pray for them every day, it increases your focus and your awareness. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's not that there's just more people that show up. It's just that your awareness increases, so you see it more. So it's like when you get a geo, you begin to realize, hey, so many people on the road have geos. It's like, mm -hmm. they just pop up. Well, they've always been there. It's just your awareness increases. And so this, this is how we can be really intentional about reaching your goals, is praying for them every single day in your daily account book. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. That'd be good. Just think about what are the goals that you have and pray, 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 pray. And God will show them to you. So risk of being the measurable key result. She doesn't really know what a measurable key result is. And one thing, so for you, as you're as you're looking at this, like you're thinking like, how can I help Theodore? As as an influencer, as a leader, as a as a friend, as a as a sister, you could see like, uh, is there something you need help with? Is there something she needs help with? Like what can you do to help her? What are some goals that you can set for her? Because you see that all she intends to do is a transcripts. Well, what does she plan to do for food? She should have some food goals. She should have some things that she wants to do or get done or with a meal plan. Um, you know, have just understand team or a schedule or something. These are going to be things that 
would be good for her to enlist her time and energy with. Um, and also the team leader boot camp. Like the team leader boot camp would really help her um, to understand how to do the kitchen a little bit better. So what are measurable key results that she could do? She could keep track of on how many live casts that she's done. What is a measurable key result within the transcript that she could show? Do they do word count? Do they have paragraphs? Do they have... I'm not sure. Is there something simple that she's able to do? She could, um, she could contact us when something's done. I don't, I don't want her contacting me when something's done. But I this report form, me. this report form is basically what she's doing. I'm talking about measurable key results. What is a specific number, something we can measure that she's involved in, that she can help with? Um. Well. Yeah, she could like keep an eye out on the stock of food, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so you see where it says, What are you learning this week to develop your talents for Christ's service? Personal uh -huh. development, talent to develop, new skills, leadership mm -hmm. development. Like, what, what skills could she have for that? The leadership skills for sure. Oh, I didn't put Theodore on here. Uh, Theodora. Yeah, it sounded like she was tuning out during the leadership table today. So that, yeah. that tells me that she wasn't really learning or paying, or she doesn't see it relevant to her. Right. So we need to help her to see that. Yeah. And then, um. You were, what were you working with her on? Um. I was wor helping her with the menus, you, meal plans. How, how far did you get with that? Well. She doesn't want to go past a week. Why? I don't know. She just doesn't have enough energy, I guess. Is there videos that you can put her through? Is there examples you can show her of other people who have the results that you're looking for? Because, like, she needs a four-minute mile. Like, what is her four-minute mile? Like, once someone else has done it, then she can do it too, and it can help her to see and visualize what, what could be in the future. You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm So what four-minute mile do you think you can find to help her to do that? What resources could we like maybe siphon to her? Not too many, but something simple, like one, maybe like, like one thing. How to freeze a meal or something. Doesn't she already freeze meals? No, I mean that she could plan them out and freeze them. Oh, a video that shows how to plan. Yeah. With frozen meals, okay. Yeah, you buy for it and you, you know, dish them out and stuff like that. Yeah, that's good. Um, that, that's good. And you were, you were working with her on biblical affirmations, right? Yeah. So you don't want to forget to do that. You want to, you want to, you're doing good. That's Bible work. That's going to help. That's going to help her every day. And I heard you were doing that. I was trying to encourage you too. And, but did you see what I did when I was talking to her? Oh. Social proof. You were supposed to come and get me when you were talking to her. I don't know what you're talking about. You were talking to her, mm -hmm. and then I pitched in. Mm -hmm. I was busy doing something, but you were talking to her. She's like, no, nah, I don't want to do it. It's not for me. It sounds like a lot of work. That's a lot there. Yeah, <laughs> she keeps saying yeah remember that? Everything. So you shared your testimony. You listened to me, told stories. You were doing really good with that. That was awesome. I was encouraged. Um, and, and she was changing her mind. Did you notice that there was a shift when you were doing that? When I, when I spoke to her, do you remember what I said? Mm. I don't remember what this conversation was about. About her, you, you were showing her the worksheets, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the biblical affirmation. Uh -huh, yeah. So now do you remember the conversation? I remember now. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember what I said? No. It's Nothing changes if nothing changes. I did say that definition uh -huh. of sanity is mm -hmm. doing the same thing, expecting different results. That's good. Um, but what else did I say? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. So this is one of the six principles of persuasion. Like in your mind, you should go through these six as you're talking to people because you're persuading her. Like you're helping her make a very powerful decision. I use social proof. 
and I shared with her, your testimony is powerful because that's that shows consistency, that shows authority, that shows that you you know what you're talking about because you can relate. You've been where she is, and you and you've gone somewhere else that she wants, um, or purpose, meaning, and strength, and overcoming, and victory, and progress, and all these things sound like what she has. You have the results she wants. So that was good. That's authority. That's one of the six triggers. Uh, the second thing is social proof. So what I did, I said, hey, you know what? That was one of the most life-changing things I learned in the last five years. This is the same thing that Tina said out of everything that she's learned and the things that she's done. Like these biblical affirmations have been the greatest joy and the strength. Rejoicing has been so life-transforming for it. It's made her a different person. Karma, when he was listing off some of the biggest highlights and turning points in his life while being here for the last like two years or so, biblical affirmations was one of those top things he learned too. So he's like, it's not just me, it's not just mom, it's not just Tina, but it's like, it really there's works. this works. So you see what I'm saying? That's a social proof. That's another trigger of persuasion. And I think between you relating with, with the authority and your testimony, and then the social proof and then the insanity, and like I think like she was like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it tomorrow. Did you do it tomorrow? No. Why? I don't know. Did you write it down? Mm. Mom? Mm. That's a lie. What? Following up is doing what you said you're going to do. Oh, I know. And, um... I just feel like I have so much to do. Okay. Because you have so much to do, you have to get organized, you got to plan, and you got to prioritize, and you can't just get to work as soon as you have the work to do. You have to change I guess it. she's the easiest one to set aside because she doesn't want to do anything. So I work with the other people who okay. need something. She has a need. Her need is I know quieter. she does. But yeah, I know what you but mean. She's not, she's not demanding your time and she's not seeking after you. Yeah. But you she have doesn't, it seems like I need to fight her to do our, our chore. Don't think of it like a or fight. Chore, but think of it like influence. You have to influence her to do something. And it's true, you do. Yeah. But that's what you want. But it's easier to do something with somebody who's willing and yes. actually excited to do it. <laughs> it is. But think about this too. Um, how are you going to build muscle of influence without influencing people who don't want to do things? Just practice, I guess. you got to practice. So if you look at Theodora as practice, you get it like you want to learn to influence, you want to learn skills. She's really not that difficult to influence. It's it's not like th this is a deal we got to take ownership. Am I difficult to influence? Um, I don't think any of us are in difficult. I don't think I'm difficult to influence. Oh boy, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I really practice on you. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Because. Because I try to influence oh. you and... But here's the thing. <laughs> I think you try to influence me most because we're around each other most, but I'm actually a very easy person to influence. And I see people using the triggers on me and when they do, and, and it's like, I realize they're doing you know, it, but I it see. still works. <laughs> it still works because their principles are like laws they're of powerful. human nature. Yeah. So, but the thing is, for you, it's not that other people are hard to influence it's you need to be the person who can influence it's not theodora's unwillingness it's your skill does that make sense mm -hmm. your skill your rapport it's your relationship my unwillingness to, to practice persevere. persevere yeah 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 but you are willing and you you are you are committed to this journey and because of that you see theodora as an opportunity to grow for yourself and an opportunity to serve her at a higher level and help her to get to where she wants to go because you know she wants to be different it's just it, it's hard like you were sharing with your testimony you were there because you were there your heart is sympathetic towards her and that sympathy is what builds influence that relatability that common ground so uh, i just want to encourage you to persevere and and look at it as like it's not one of those things where she's fighting or she's unwilling or she's reluctant it, it's really not like that it's just you haven't shared it in a way that she would want to do that and it's just a matter of and it doesn't mean that that you're like you're a failure or whatever it just means that i need skill yeah and the only way to get skill is to practice and review and get better and practice and review this is what you've been waiting for your entire life you've been wanting it and now you can seize the opportunity and look at that as a stepping stone to serve more and more people if you can help her you can help others who represent her 
Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's how I look at every one-on-one -on -one coaching. Every time that I work with someone one-on-one, -on -one, I just see like, yeah, it takes more time, energy, and people are difficult, but that just makes me better when I do one-to-many. Does that make sense? Because I understand the process and path that people go through. Okay. I got two more. So, so you want to you want to follow through. Don't let that fall through the cracks. You're gonna want to keep going with her, with uh, Theodora, um, and that's good. You're doing good. I, I appreciate you working with her. You don't realize how much of an answer to prayer. You you don't realize how much load that lifts off of me when you help when you help uh, the different people that are needing help. Because I think about them every day. There's not a day that goes by. Can you have me one of those black markers, please? Okay, so another one is Musa. Musa wants to overcome personal habits. He wants to... Okay, so we got Musa here. Musa wants to overcome personal habits. Overcome personal habits. Which habits? I want to help this brother. Uh, understand the anatomy of a habit uh, to overcome. All right. Uh, time management. Uh, uh, to work on time management. What does he mean by that? Is there anything he needs help with? Is it risk? No. He wants to cut off all distractions starting. But what does that mean? Where's the minister? Right here? what or when? yeah just share my testimony in a way I can relate to people girl yeah he's working on his testimony praise the Lord testimony working on in a way he can relate to people this is great this is goal this is good that's a good skill he's doing it for victories oh it looks like we went through everything oh. so such a fast you see how helpful that is? We got 14 people who went through this this uh, this thing so far, and now we have an overview. We have a um, we have a checklist. We have a, a worksheet of the things that people can do, or the things that we have to do, and how we can help serve them at a higher level. Is that beautiful or what? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yes. That's good. So essentially, this will help us get that. Now we have now we have a checklist. Now we can prioritize this, and we can start working on the things that matter most. Um, so how about we close here with a word of prayer? You want to pray for us, Mom? Yes. Thank you. Dear Lord, thank you for such a simple tool that digs deep into the the desires and the the needs of the people who are working with us. That that we could help them to have an easy. Um, time while they're doing their work and um and thank you lord for all the workers that that you're allowing us to work with and the influence that each one of us are learning all, all the tools all the um the development everything that we're learning lord you're so good to us and we really appreciate all that you do for us um i just pray that you prepare the hearts and the minds today right now of the work that we're doing and that we're putting out there and please excuse me draw the people that um, that you would to work with the army of youth and um, help help us to be a success to do the things the way Jesus Christ would if he was here we love you Lord thank you for all that you do in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. praise the Lord Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope that this was a, a blessing and an aid. And I just want to re encourage all of the uh, team leaders and managers out there who are going to be looking at this. Just know that God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. And if you're being called for service and to be able to help a greater number of people, just know that God is there to help you every step of the way when you rely and look to him.